Hey, what's up you guys? You know, you and I have made lots of different pickled chili pepper type recipes here at Chili Pepper Madness, but today we're gonna make a slightly different version. This is an Indian recipe called Chili Pickle, and it is loaded with lots of Indian flavors and spices. This is a recipe, if you're a chili head like me, that you're gonna wanna have in your recipe collection because it's gonna allow you to add lots of flavor and zing to so many different dishes. So uh, I'm excited for this one, so let me show you how to make it. All right, let's make some chili pickle. Realistically, you can make this with any type of chili pepper. Uh, so if you've got something out of your garden that you wanna use, you can totally use that, uh, use a variety. Um, if you're in India, for example, you might use these uh, thin, sorta of spicy chili peppers, green chilies. Uh, here in the States, um, I'm using serrano peppers today because they're just a lot easier for me to find. But really, you can use any level of heat pepper that you'd like to. Again, I have serranos, and these are uh, kind of pretty spicy, sort of mid-level to me. Um, but if you want milder, you can use something like jalapeno or even sweet peppers for this. Um, or use a mix of like just different types of peppers for uh, pretty much how you want to serve it. Uh, so first thing I'm going to do is just chop off the tops here. And I'm going to slice these into uh, more thin slices. But uh, again, this is another variable where if you want, you can chop these peppers, make it more chunky um, or into thin slices. It all depends on how you want to serve it. So for me, I am slicing fairly thinly and then into the bowl. And again, I need about a cup and a half of chopped chilies, but uh, it really scales up very easily. I got about a cup and a half here. Got my chilies all ready, so now let's get our seasoning station all set up. All right, I have my little spice station set up here. We're gonna go ahead and toast some spices and seeds. To start, I have three tablespoons of mustard seeds, and you can use black mustard seeds. I see it a lot with black mustard seeds. I have yellow mustard seeds, but you can use brown or a combo. And I have a teaspoon of coriander seeds and a teaspoon of cumin seeds. And I also have a half teaspoon of fenugreek and a half teaspoon of fennel. All right, so I'm just gonna lightly toast these for only about a minute. You don't wanna burn it. You don't wanna go, you don't wanna go too hot here. Uh, the idea is to just draw out some of the oils of these seeds and um, you know, let them develop a little bit more flavor. You, don't, you can skip this step, but I highly encourage you to do the light toasting because it really develops lots of flavor. All right, I can smell these delicious spices, so I'm gonna go ahead and move them over into a mocajete here. All right, I've got everything over, moved into my mocajete. And uh, again, you can use a spice grinder for this. Spice grinder is great. I like a really coarse ground when I'm making chili pickle. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start mixing this up here by hand for a bit. And it might take me a little bit, but I really prefer it this way. I get a really just nice coarse ground that's gonna to translate to lots of flavor with chili pickle. All right, got my spice mixture uh, nicely ground to my preference. And I'm also going to add here a teaspoon of turmeric. And uh, be careful with turmeric because it uh, is very vibrantly colored and it's easy to stain. Okay, I'm also using a quarter teaspoon of asafoetida. It's actually a dried sap that is used widely in Indian cuisine. Uh, it's, uh, it's super pungent and a really unique flavor, so I really high, highly encourage you to find it. Uh, you can order it online at Amazon or go to uh, like an Indian market. Um, but if you're unable to find it, uh, that's okay. You can use a mixture, like an eighth of a teaspoon each of ground garlic and ground onion. I definitely encourage you to get it. So, All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and mix this together. And we're gonna add a little bit of salt later, uh, but this is our spice mixture, so now we're going to go ahead and infuse some oil. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and infuse the oil and the pickling solution here. So get yourself a small pot or a pan uh, set up, and we're gonna warm things. So uh, here I have a quarter cup of mustard oil, and uh, mustard oil is like a very pungent, strong flavored oil. This is another one of those ingredients that you'll uh, probably need to go to an Asian market uh, or order online. Uh, but if you're not able to find it, you can use vegetable oil. It really works just fine. I've actually made it that way and it works great. 
Uh, and I also have a quarter cup of freshly squeezed lemon juice. And I'm also adding, this is optional, but I like to add a little bit more acid. I've just got a couple tablespoons of vinegar, like a nice quality vinegar here. And I'm gonna go ahead and add all of the ground spices that we just did. It's a lot of spice. You know we like lots of spices here, right? All right, go ahead and mix this in. And all we're gonna do is we're just gonna gently warm it. You don't want this to be, uh, you don't, do not bring it to a boil. Um, we're not cooking it, we're just warming it to let the flavors develop. So let me turn this on to a nice low heat. And I'm only gonna go for maybe a minute or two. But yeah, you can really see how nice and thick this is. This is like lots of flavor. Um, but really, if you want more oil, uh, more lemon juice, a little bit more vinegar, you can go ahead and do it really to the consistency that you're looking for. Um, but this is like, this is flavor right here, guys. This is chili head heaven. Mm. Hey, you guys, while this is warming, uh, just a couple of tips. Uh, realistically, you can change up the seasonings on this. You can add other seasonings to your preference. Uh, I've seen carom seeds used here. Um, and then other, you can change up the uh, ratios of all of these seeds and seasonings and add other things. Like, uh, also I gotta add salt. Don't forget a little bit of salt. Usually like a, maybe a quarter teaspoon to a half teaspoon. At its core, it's really like oil and uh, acid in the form of lemon juice and or vinegar uh, with chilies. So you could do sort of a Mexican style version with Mexican ingredients and uh, you know, have a nice pickling topping for your tacos. Or uh, you can do kind of a Cajun version with Cajun seasonings and use it as sort of a interesting twist on the muffaletta, for example. Um, so really like take this as a concept, um, but the recipe itself, chili pickle, massive Indian flavor. It's just so delicious. All right, looking good here. So next up is to go ahead and mix your wonderful spices into the chilies, like so. Look at that. Oh man, I can put a lot more chilies in there. So, all right, let me set this aside. And uh, go ahead and mix it together, my friends, and check it out. Look at how gorgeous this is looking. Oh man. Chili pickle. So a couple things about this. You can actually enjoy this right away, but it's gonna be so much better if you let it sit for a while. Leave it for at least a couple hours, but better yet, do it overnight or maybe in two days, and all that sort of pickling uh, flavors and everything will develop and become even better and better. So I would definitely wait. Um, but so let's talk about uses. You can serve this as a side dish and just have people spoon it on their plates and it'll uh, really liven up any kind of an Indian dish. Uh, you can also spoon it over grilled meats, pretty much anything off the grill, and it's gonna like add lots of pop and, and awesomeness to that dish. Um, but also as a condiment, just pretty much any general condiment. It's great on, uh, I kind of like it on wraps for lunch. Uh, add sort of like a nice Indian spiced element to my wrap and make a boring turkey wrap into something that's just, yes, awesomeness. Uh, but many ways to use it. But hey, I'd really love to hear in the comments below how you guys love to serve your chili pickle. What, well, what's your plans for it? All right, let's give it a taste. Ooh. Boom, seriously, that is huge on flavor. It's gonna be even better tomorrow. You guys need this recipe. Chili pickle, my friends. I hope you love it as much as I do. It might be your new favorite. Uh, but hey, up next, if you're looking for more pickled pepper flavor, you gotta try my pepper relish, it's awesome. Or if you're looking for pure awesomeness and a condiment, chili crisp is really what you wanna check out. So uh, hey, let me know uh, which one you're gonna pick. All right, see you in the kitchen next time, bye.